What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is a great day because it is another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And before we get started with today's video, I just have to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers out there. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I promised you guys a long time ago, about a month ago, that I was going to be uploading on a daily basis to this channel and really trying to put out the best content that I could. And so far, we've put out some great content and I had to thank all you guys for all the support. So thank you, number one. And if you are coming for the first time to this channel, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and jump on board because again, we're gonna have a lot of content on this channel. But I love your face. Let's go ahead and get into the things you gotta do when you jump in to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's go. Coming in on our list, of course, is picking up chicks. You got to pick up chicks at all times of the day. So picking up chicks is our number one thing you got to do when you get into Red Dead Redemption 2. Now that yeah, we've picked okay. up a couple of chicks, yeah. it's time to settle down and get ourselves all cleaned up. But not without a little Wonderful. help from a friend. Don't you worry about a thing. But you let me know if the water gets cold. Ah, there's nothing better than riding in the open fields in Red Dead Redemption and coming across a stranger. It's nice to see that there's people out there really working really hard to get an honest wage out there. And sometimes you just get in a sticky situation you need a little help. Sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's just part of life sometimes. You get in a situation, you can't get out of it. It's a do-or-die situation sometimes. Sometimes you do. And sometimes you die. Arthur Morgan's one of the best cowboys out there. When he hears a damsel in distress, he knows exactly what to do. Now taking this guy down was probably the easiest thing Arthur Morgan's been doing all day. As he ropes this guy in and hog ties him, it's exactly what you gotta do when you see the damsel in distress. Now this guy, he knows he made a mistake. But good thing is, Arthur Morgan, he believes in second chances. He's all about second chances. Hell, he's even gotten a couple of second chances himself. Sometimes you just need a second chance to get through the day. But sometimes that second chance don't last long. We all know that Arthur Morgan's a hard working man. At the end of the day, he's really tired from hog tying all these enemies. Now he likes to sit around a campfire and do a little drinking himself. But sometimes the whiskey gets the best of you. If I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. No Red Dead Redemption game would be complete Oof. if you didn't play Five Finger Filet. And this time, Arthur Morgan shows you how to do it the hard and the easy way. If you're a Red Dead Redemption 2 fan, that probably means you're an animal lover too. If you don't go by and pet a dog the first time you see one, that means you're gonna have four years of bad luck on your horse. So the next time you walk behind your horse, you're definitely gonna kick to the face. Besides petting a furry animal, hog tying a random stranger and waiting on the train to come is one of the most satisfying experiences you can have on Red Dead Redemption 2. If they get up and try to get away or fight back, just rope them and drag them behind your horse. That is what Red Dead Redemption 2 is all about and it's very, very satisfying. What Red Dead Redemption 2 game would be complete without a classic bar fight? Having a bar fight is part of every experience that one should ever have on Red Dead Redemption 2. So having a bar fight is where it's all at. 
I hope you guys enjoyed all of these clips. These are some of the things that I enjoy doing on Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me know what you guys like to do on Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll be coming out with more things to do on Red Dead Redemption 2 as the weeks push on. But I thank you guys for coming to this channel. If you, again, haven't subscribed, definitely do that. And also leave a like on this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.